so we begin this video um, with stage one of the chassis, construction of the chassis. So I've cut all these parts out, cleaned them up a bit. And uh, to be fair, these are a bit vague. to be they're a bit vague. What I've done is I put them all in the uh, so I knew which when I cleaned them up, I knew which parts were which. And you glue uh, the axle or the drive shaft to the suspension first of all, and then you glue it onto the chassis. That's it. Well, not as easy as it seems. Anyway, I've done the first part uh, using Tamiya cement. Guessing that's where shock absorbers go. But um, I'll do the next part. Well, uh, I'll show you that in a sec. Okay. Okay. <coughs> the front drive shaft is uh, glued on with its springs. Um, this one, this one, for some reason, went a lot together a lot better than the other one. But now, until they set, after getting them in the right place. <sighs> okay, so it's onwards and upwards. Next bit is to make the wheels up and the two spurs. But they won't be glued in yet, so do that next. Hi, um, so things have moved on a bit. I'm um, you know, I've uh, not videoed me gluing some parts together because uh, basically the battery's been flat, and while it's been charging, I've uh primed everything, well I primed everything and then uh, first of all I've painted all the Jeep dark yellow with Tamiya dark yellow uh, I've also done anthracite on the tyres XF60 um, and I also thin it with uh, X20 here. Um, let's have a look at what to paint next. And then we shall have a look, see. Anyway, it's coming on. I'm enjoying it, so we'll see what happens next, okay? Right, see you shortly. Okay, let's spray the, all the jerry cans and some of the equipment. XF59 Desert Yellow. Roughly at 50 50 with X20 again.
Uh, bench is a bit messy. I've been uh, doing a bit, you know. Um, you know, I've done a, a, a. It's a bit of a one-two. Uh, missed a few ninety-nine, a hundred. So uh, the uh, jeep has moved on a fair bit. So, uh, you know, uh, basically finishing it off. Um, uh, all the bags I'm going to have, yeah. Right. These. What I'm thinking of doing is uh, cutting this into strips and using this for the, that for the uh, straps. Uh, painting some wooden boxes. Whether they look like wood or not. So everything's painted. This one's finalising. Um, so ammo boxes. I've painted them green, but I don't think that green's right. It wants to be a bit darker, so. That might happen. Anyway. Um, the part that does the condenser, I drilled it out and put a bit of fuse wire in it and painted that black. And that's going to get glued on next. Okay. So, see you shortly. Okay, for the time being, the uh, SAS Jeep is complete. Uh, I put everything on it that I want to put on it. Uh, it's going to, you know, I will do some weathering uh, when the truck is finished and I'm making the uh, diorama base for the, this and the truck. I've got some Tamiya. Uh, brown wash coming because I want to uh, use that a bit on some of these uh, jerry cans and satchels and what have you. I've uh, put some storage in back, spared the ammo for the uh, Vickers K guns Oops. and some wooden boxes. Well, I think they look like wood. My first attempt at painting wood, uh, shovel, which is loose at the moment. I've uh, put some satchels on, they're on with straps around the uh, supports and on the jerry cans. Thompson there, Thompson machine gun fit driver. Uh, I've put a bit of my wife's. Um, What's it called? What do you call it? We do uh, dining and what have you. Some of that on there and painted it grey. But I've left the brown of the uh, dining wall to show through. So that's about it for the time being. On the uh, guys sun goggles. But I've done them as, you know, uh, blue. Got blue glass in them. Cool. Uh, and then that. I have to admit, I'm quite pleased with the kit. Goes together like a dream. Like you know, what do you expect from Tamiya? Um, all the all the equipment. There's more more than you need because I've uh, not put oil all in. Uh, some of that will go into the back of the truck, I think. Anyway, so we'll call that the end of this video. If you've got this far, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you have got this far, uh, please like and subscribe if you don't mind. And like I say, thanks for watching again. Uh, if you're a modeler, modeler, happy modeling. And that's it for now. So this is Stevie D signing off. Uh, bye for now. Uh, see you in the next video. Cheerio!